the idea that you came from not just abuse, but poverty, you are someone who took what was given to him and became a bodybuilder, someone just completely and totally determined and disciplined. What made you driven, like the title of your book, <laughs> the title of the book to is be? Driven. I, I don't know. It's just something that was inside of me that was just driving me and pushing me. Had you had any kind of exposure to bodybuilding? No, before that I was watching ABC Wide World of Sports and I was I saw Arnold Schwarzenegger, you know, winning Mr. Olympia and I saw Robbie Robinson and uh, Danny Padilla and that's what got inside of my head. Bodybuilding, I was so fascinated with it. To see these guys, like you see all the muscles in their body and then the presentation where they was posing. When you first came to do this contest, what did that mean to you, and what was that moment like? It meant everything, because my whole life depended on it. I was starving, I was broke, and uh, I, I was desperate to win. I have a really hard time having watched the sport evolve into something that is, to be candid, I, I, I can't even come up with the right word outside of, it's, it's cartoonish. It's changed so much. I mean, I, my opinion is I don't know what to say. <laughs> I'm, I'm lost for words because I can never imagine a guy, you know, weighing 280 pounds. Because in, when I was competing, if you didn't have a super small waist, don't even bother to show up at the contest. You're not gonna win. How do you feel about the future of bodybuilding, knowing that the Mr. America and what it stands for and in the body types and what do you think about the future moving forward? I think the Mr. America contest is what's bringing, it, bringing bodybuilding back to television, bringing it back to the people. Kids are watching this and go, wow, I wanna look like that. Because it's attainable, they're not big, they pose, it's a show, they're performers. And I think it's gonna be a great thing bringing it back. They've just announced that you're Mr. America, and now you believe it, you realize, I am that guy. I mean, how many competitors want that title? And then having it, I was, I was just overjoyed. I was like, almost numb. I couldn't even think straight anymore. I mean, to win that was like everything. If I never want to show after that again, that was, that was the, the top of my career. That was it. That was, yeah just to be say I can represent America, you know, as a, as a champion, as an African-American, being champion. <laughs>